We started our analysis of the field effect transistor with the, both the drain and the source terminals held the ground and increased the gate voltage until the threshold voltage was overcome and a uniformly shaped channel was formed. The depth of the channel depended on how much greater the voltage, the gate voltage was over the threshold voltage and we called this the overdrive voltage. Current then began to flow when we started to increase the voltage between the drain and the source. When the voltage between the drain and the source was relatively small, we could assume that the channel that was induced by the gate voltage was uniformly shaped across the entire length of the channel and that the channel was uniform in depth. In this video, we consider what happens as we continue to increase the drain voltage. As we've seen, the conductance of the channel is a function of the gate voltage VGS. So for this analysis, we'll hold the gate voltage constant at some voltage greater than the threshold voltage and observe the effect of increasing VDS. So we're going to increase the voltage to some point greater than the threshold voltage so we have this overdrive. It'll be a constant overdrive voltage and then look at what happens to the channel and thus to the current for values of VDS greater than some small amount. Yet it'll still apply, or um, VDS will still be less than the overdrive voltage. So once again, with the uh, drain voltage small, the voltage induced along the channel, along its entire length, is the overdrive voltage, or VOV. Let me say that again. The voltage inducing the channel along its entire length is the overdrive voltage, VOV. And the depth of the channel along its entire length is constant and proportional to VOV. That's with the drain voltage small. And under those circumstances, we determined that the current flowing was given by this equation. And it's proportional to VOV and VDS. So this is for small VDS. Now we can replace the overdrive voltage with VGS minus VT, which is the definition of the overdrive voltage, and have basically the same equation. But as we now begin to increase the drain voltage, the voltage inducing the channel thus linearly decreases from VOV at the source to VOV minus VDS at the drain. Let's see if we can explain that a different way. At the source, which is held at ground level, or at zero, the voltage that is creating this channel is equal to the overdrive voltage. But now at the drain, we're starting to raise the voltage up from ground. It's no longer at ground, but we're now raising it up to a voltage VDS. So the voltage that's causing the drain, or that's causing the uh, channel, that's causing the channel, or the voltage inducing the channel at the drain end is no longer VOV, but it's now VOV minus VDS. And the depth of the channel and thus the charge in the channel follows this same linear tapering. As we can see in the figure, the average voltage inducing the channel is VOV minus one-half VDS. So the average voltage inducing the channel, on the source end, the voltage inducing is VOV, on the channel end, it's VOV minus VDS, and the average voltage then would be the voltage at the middle of it, the average voltage inducing the channel will be VOV minus VDS. And also we can say then that the charge contained in the channel will be proportional to that average VOV minus one-half VDS. We can then modify these two equations which correspond to small VDS to this equation right here, replacing VOV with the average voltage inducing the channel of VOV minus one-half VDS, we then have this equation, which is the equation for the current 
under the circumstances when VDS is greater than small, but still less than the overdrive voltage. Once again, we can replace the overdrive voltage with what it in fact is, VGS minus VT, and we then get this equation here. So these two equations are, basic, are not basically, they are the same equation, just explicitly showing VOV in terms of VGS minus VT. Finally, this equation here, we replace mu sub n C O X with the case of n prime term, and we have this equation, which describes current flow in what we now are going to refer to as the triode region. The triode region is that region that exists, or is that state of the transistor, greater than a small VDS so that the channel is tapering, but VDS is still less than VOV, so it hasn't gotten to the point where the channel is uh, completely pinched off at the drain end. We'll address that in the next video.